So once we understand how these strings work, and we're starting to get an idea of, of how we can use the index of a string to do more interesting things, let's look a little closer at uh, some of the more interesting things we can do with all of that. And what I wanna look at right now is looping. So looping is simply this um, idea of using the index in, in the string to do something more powerful. So what do I mean? Let's, let's give you a quick example here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just create a string here. We'll call my string and we'll call it Alice. Oops, uh, syntax is important. Let's try that again. My string equals Alice. All right, so now we got a string and uh, let's go ahead and do a, a, a loop. So while, if you don't remember while, let's go back and take a look at those videos. We're simply gonna use the tool of while um, and we need something to loop, right? So in this case, I wanna, I wanna do repetition. I wanna count, right? I wanna iterate through it. So I'm gonna create an iterator. So I'm gonna call it index. Seems like a pretty easy name since that's what I'm actually iterating through is the index points, right? And I'm gonna set it to zero. That's why I have something to loop over, right? So while index is less than, uh, and what I wanna do is I wanna loop through this as long as my counter, my iterator, um, uh, my sentinel, there's all these words we could use. Um, as long as index is less than the total length of my string, in this case is Alice. So uh, we've got a tool to do that. We can simply say len, remember we've used that before. Um, and since simply to find the length of my string, all right? So as long as my counter is less than the length of my string, I'm gonna print my counter so I can see my number uh, index. And uh, I wanna print just the letter that matches my counter. So if my counter is on zero, I wanna print A. If my counter is on one, I wanna print the L, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So my string is the string I'm counting through, right? And the easiest way to do that is simply say, go get the index, right? Because that, that counter is counting up, right? We know the first time it goes through this, the index is zero. So I can say, just slice out, just show me the zeroth point in my string, which is an A. And of course, if I just run it now, it's gonna be problematic because what's wrong? Well, as you can see, it just loops and loops and loops and loops. Well, why? Well, because my index never changes, right? So I definitely need to increase my counter. Each time I go through the loop, I wanna add one to it. So the easiest way to do that is just take my index and say plus equal one. And that's the same, by the way, if, if you're used to this index equals index plus one. That's the same code. Um, it's just a little shorter way to do it, a little, a, little, a little neater, right? So now when we run this thing, we get this nice little loop. Um, and you can see it's counting it. My index zero uh, is A. My index one is L. My index two is I. My index and so forth and so on, right? Now, of course, we wanna be careful that we're catching that length, right? Because if I were to set this some other way, as you can see, that's gonna change what I get uh, because it changes my start point. Um, so we wanna be really, really careful about that um, because it does have a significant impact on what you get. Uh, as you can see, it's a little weird when you start going out of those nonsense numbers. Um, so that's a simple way to loop through things. Uh, just be careful that you don't, you don't loop um, too far. So for instance, if I were to say index plus one, um, you're gonna see very quickly, it causes this string out of range. Well, why does it cause a string out of range? Well, that's simple because in this case, it's adding those together, right? So my very first number is zero plus one is one, zero, and then one plus one is two and so forth. So when I hit the E, Right, when I hit that number of counting, unfortunately I've got one more index point than I actually have letters. So it's, it's trying to look way over here where there is nothing and tells me string out of range. So do be careful when you're counting these ranges um, that you're not going too high or too low because you'll get an error from that.